Hello. Tranquilos, tranquilos, no pasa nada. I'm sorry. Teacher. Se cayó el internet. Lo están recogiendo ahorita. So, I'm sorry for that. Y <laughs> estoy con datos, de hecho. So, todavía no tengo internet. Ojalá. Me Eso es lo que no se quiebre, me. <laughs> Eso es lo que no se haya golpeado muy fuerte el internet. Anyway, so. Cabal. Seguimos, güey. Um, here, ahí está. Okay, there you go. So here we were. Y yo bien emocionado explicando y se me había caído esta cosa. So anyway, um, here we have what we were reviewing here have or has plus past participle. So the past participles are the verbs that we were mm. studying yesterday. So that's a, pretty much what we use here for the present perfect. For the simple past, as you know, we only need the verb in the past form. But here we were talking about uh, we. Here we were I don't talking know we, about my oh connection. My no, why? God, there you go. Jesus. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes it's about okay. in the okay. other page. Dice que se acabó el tiempo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Es, eh, y sí, le va a salir ahorita time out eh, por, por, que se, por la pregunta, ¿no? Que terminó. But don't worry. So let's see. Let's see if we can continue. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Really? Mm, wait. Hello? Can you hear me? Queda estático, Tisha. No, no. Ok. No me vayan a hacer, no me vayan a hacer sticker. Can you hear me? TikTok. Teacher, I have no. a problem. Ok, wait, wait, wait. I have a lot of problems too. Let's see. Bueno, creo que ahorita sí ya. Es que cuál es la página. I'm sorry. Problema de reacción, dice. Y lo sacó. No, es que... Problema de reconexión, me dice a mí. Sí, yo me salí, sí. intenté volver a entrar, pero dice que ya otro usuario tiene el nombre. Ahí está, vaya, ahorita creo que sí, sí lo va a dejar. A mí me está dando oh, el sí. mismo problema. Ahora sí creo que lo va a dejar entrar, intenten. Sí, ya. Hoy sí, vea. Ahí sí. está. Sí, se sí. acabó el tiempo. Ya, eh. yeah, uh -huh. ahorita sí les va a salir, como que se ha acabado el tiempo. Ah, ok. So, don't worry. Ok, let's move on. No voy a hacer que Wait, hay teacher. otra. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, el sentique de jalar de la camisa. <laughs> no, just kidding. So you let me know. Me avisa. Okay. Nice. Excellent. So let's see. Oscar getting some points. Very good. Here we go with number two. All right. Double points. My great-great-grandfather, five sisters. My great-great-grandfather, mi tatara tatara abuelo. Y just one person, what? So, yes. I don't know, teacher, because. Oh my God, it was very hey. Cuando vi solo tenía tres segundos para yeah. responder, eso no es justo. Jesus muy rápido. Christ, oh Qué my God. Qué corto el tiempo. Por eso valía a responder. Donde... Oh my no God. No puede salir right. si volver a entrar. No. That's cheating. Es que la primera respuesta no me la contó. Ah, that's the thing. No, no. It's not going to take it. But don't worry. Let's see. Let's see the rest of us. So, in this case, simple past, right? I cannot use the present perfect oh. if, because with the present perfect, if, it would mean that my great, great grandfather is still alive. So, my great, great grandfather, he is dead, but bien poco probable que esté vivo todavía mi tatarabuelo. Y so, no puede ser present perfect. It's got to be simple past. So, had for the verb in parentheses. Let's see the next one. Omar, going to the first place. Very good. 
Let's see. Next. He, in Barcelona, for a year, when he was a student. When he was a student. All right, good. Excellent. And time. Let's see. He, he has lived. No. He lived in Barcelona for a year when he was a student. Here we have a specific period in time when he was a student, when I was a little boy, when I was a child, etc. etc. Those expressions are usually specific points in time. So we use the simple past, not the present perfect. Think about how the idea would be actually in Spanish. It wouldn't make much sense. Él ha vivido en Barcelona por un año. Cuando era estudiante, él vivió, right? Simple past. So you keep that in mind. Here we go with the next one. No. Oscar, going back to the first place. Omar, Nelson, very good. Carlos and Luis. Let's see. Next one. Oh no, my wallet. Oh no, my wallet. <laughs> Let's see. So we have I have lost my wallet. So why in this case, we use present perfect and not the simple past. In Spanish, we would say, uy, perdí la cartera, right? I lost my wallet. In English, we use the present perfect to talk about things that just happened in the moment, like or just some minutes ago. If it happened some minutes ago, I usually use the present perfect instead of the simple past. So I would say, oh no, I've lost, I've lost my wallet. So I have lost, present perfect. So. Eso para el signo de interrogación, para el signo de admiración, teacher. Y el signo de admiración acá, bueno, la, la frase que nos da la pista es el, oh no, como de ahorita acabo de caer en cuenta, ¿verdad? Oh, no, I lost my wallet. O sea que a, tal vez no pasó hace un ratito, pero que yo supiera hace un ratito la, la andaba en la bolsa. Y o me la ganaron, o me bajé del bus y ya no, la, ya no la tengo, o cualquier cosa, right, la dejé mal puesta. Pero acaba de pasar en teoría. Entonces, eso me... O le aplicaron al don de basto, teacher. <risa> <laughs> la doble Nelson. <laughs> so, la doble Nelson. <laughs> in this case, I mean, since acaba, lo que acaba de pasar eh, es el present perfect, right? Si lo, este evento en el pasado es un pasado bien próximo, lo digo con el present perfect. That's another use that I have with this tense, okay? So there you go. Ahora, si yo la perdí, la perdí la semana pasada y le estoy contando a alguien, ahí se le digo, hey, you know what? I lost my wallet last week. It was terrible. I lost all my documents and my money. So that would be different, right? That's a different story. So let's see. All right, Oscar, very good. And Luis getting some points, nice. Here we go with the next one. Double points. Tiene poquito tiempo entonces. Question, Julie today, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, nice, very good. Have you seen Julie today? So why have you seen Julie today? Present perfect, because the day hasn't ended. The day is still, a ongoing, right? So if you see, it's even a, probably in the afternoon or the morning, I don't know, they are drinking coffee. 
So it could be the, uh, the morning or the afternoon. So that means that I'm asking if you have had the chance to see Julie uh, during the day. Probably you will have the chance to see her if you haven't. So I use present perfect. Remember, el día no se ha terminado acá. So, sigue la actividad del pasado con el presente. So, present perfect. Let's see the next one. So, we have Oscar still in the first place. Nelson going up. Blanquita going up. Grisel going up. And Beatriz. Excellent. Let's see. Next one. Last weekend, they play football and go to a restaurant. Last weekend, last weekend. Last weekend. So let's see, last weekend and time. So last weekend, they played football and went to a restaurant. So, with the simple past and the present perfect, we have some keywords. Whenever we use last weekend, last month, last week, last year, simple past, right? That's the simple past. Don't even think twice about it. It's just like that. With these expressions, what we use is usually the simple past. We never use the present perfect with an expression of time like this. I have been, uh, I have studied English last week, mm -mm, never. This expression is just for the simple past, like in this case, but nice. So let's see. Okay, Oscar still in the first place. Grisel going up, Nelson, Suleima going up, and Blanquita, nice. Que raro sentido es el de Suleima, but anyway. <laughs> Here we go with the next one. Double points. So it means that it's going to be fast. I read six books this week. Three, two, one. Ay, ay, ay. This week hasn't, it hasn't ended, right? We haven't finished the week. So if I haven't finished the week, that means that I need to use present perfect. The simple past is when it's done, right? So it seems that I'm still in this week. So I have read six books this week. So let's see. All right, Oscar, still in the first place. Let's see the next one. Number eight, Amy live in Portugal when she was young, when she was young, when she was young. In time. So leave the simple past. Why the simple past? Because here we have again, a, a specific point in time when she was young. So that means that she's not young anymore. So we cannot use the present perfect. We need to use the simple past. So a specific period in time. Yes. So there you go. Amy lived. Let's see. Excellent. So we have Oscar, Grisel, Nelson, Suleima, and Luis. Nice. Here we go with the next one. Almost there. She live in different countries. So she knows a lot about the culture. Think about it. She live in different countries. So she knows now a lot. Excellent, the present perfect, very good. Here we are contrasting the idea. She has lived in different countries, 
And so she knows a lot about their cultures. It's like a result of that. As a result of that, this is what she knows now in the present. So that means that I need to use present perfect and not simple past. So there you go. If also, we cannot use have lived because we are using she. Remember that if we're using he, she, it, we use has. So there you go. Next one, Nelson going to the first place. There you go. Oscar, Grisel, Suleima, and JC going up. The last one, here we go. Double points, ghost stories, ghost stories. You have time this time. Ghost stories, since it's a TV show or a song. And ah, present perfect. Now, it seems that this is the name of a song, probably. Now, who am I asking? I cannot use a has with you. You got, you got it right. It was the present perfect, yes. But remember, I am with you. I use have, not has. Has is just for he, she, it. So it was have you. So let's see. Final scores then. We have third Grisel. Second place, Oscar. And the first place goes to Nelson. There you go. Nice. Congratulations. Special mentions to Luis and Blanquita, right? Fourth and fifth place. All right. There you go. Excellent. And we know way. Uh, okay, good. So that's it. All right. So just remember, practice the present perfect and the uses of the simple past. This is going to help you probably for the next level. In the next level, most likely you're going to have a general review on everything you have studied so far because it's going to be the last one for you. Uh, it's going to be basic six, right? So keep all those topics in mind. Uh, study them, don't let your guard down, always try to practice. And as I always told, as I always tell you, uh, study past participles. That's going to help you, believe it. Okay then. Now let's get down to business here. Oh, by the way, questions before we move on, questions about the present perfect, the simple past, Mm, not yet. Teacher, yo tengo una question. Ah, no. de, 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 ah, si, <laughs> si, alguien, <laughs> si alguien no se queda y me dice, o en los 10 minutos ahí me dice, oiga. Ah, va, chido, chido. Oh, nice. Good, good. Bueno, hoy teníamos a Luis. ¿Cómo está hoy Luis? Ah, pero cuando alguien no se, no se quede, eh, que <laughs> de esto sí no sé nada, teacher. Ajá. He estado un poquito con... mal, mal de salud y no, me he conectado solo para no pagar y, y no okay. es el chiste, ¿verdad? <risa> Exacto. <risa> Pero usted tranquila, no te preocupes. Gracias, All right, nice, nice. So, Luis, no sé si va a poder ocupar ahora los 10 minutos. Sí, yes, teacher. Sí. Yes. Ah, ok, so, I'm sorry, Elisa. <risa> so, you will have to wait. Yeah, maybe next week. Other day. <laughs> yeah, some other day. All right. So let's see then. If, let's continue. Let's move on with the topics that we have been, well, with the topic that I have for you today. So let me see. Here we go. Okay. So today we're going to be uh, 
talking a little bit about policies at the workplace. We're going to be also dealing with some suggestions or recommendations. So let's see, let's see that. We wait, I wait. There you go. So to introduce this topic, we have as usually a small conversation. So I'm going to read it. So you listen to it. And then I'm going to explain to you a little bit about these expressions that we have in bold letter here. So it says, eh, hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Eh, how are you Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. Mm, I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. There you go. So very simple. Is there any word that maybe could be new for you? Or no, I guess it's pretty clear, maybe. Piece of cake, right? No new words. All right. Just be careful here with something. Here we have these uh, expressions in bold letter in which we have, let's see, the word should and shouldn't. Careful with the pronunciation of these words. We don't say should. Mm -mm. I guess we have mentioned this before. This is like this, right? Should, should, I should, or you should. And this one here, that would be just like exactly the same, but in negative. Shouldn't, right? Shouldn't. You might add there an E. Shouldn't, right? Shouldn't. I should, you shouldn't. I shouldn't, you should. So eh, just remember the L is not going to sound. So there you go. Now, here we go. Let's have some practice on this conversation before we start talking about should and shouldn't. So let me see. Let's start with Bruno eh, Suleima. And let's see. <laughs> and Max, let me see. Max. Oh, yeah, Omar. Okay. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what police, policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. Policies. For example, no, no, no. policies. Policies. In my, policies in my company. For example, employees should 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 wear, wear a uniform always. Well, wear a uniform. Mm -hmm. well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should should you, should uh -huh. you not no, no, no. not. If, your superior no, is superior. Some su superior superiors. Superior. If you some style wrong. Uh -huh. Yes, you should. I see. I know the police. We have at police. Police. We have at me work. Is my work of drug 
Nobody should do drugs. Should do drugs. Should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so. So three. I think so too. I think so too. There you go. Nice. Remember, should, should, right? Should, shouldn't, should, shouldn't. And there were a couple of words there. Policies, right? Policies. Se parece a policies, police, pero no, not really, right? No es lo mismo. No es policía, ¿verdad? Políticas. So, no huele. No huele. <laughs> policies, policies. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, perdón, así en español, donde dice uh -huh. en la primera de Max, el mismo está, el mismo dice, hola, sí. ¿cómo estás, uh -huh. Max? Este, ahí él, él tiene problemas. Pero ahí él mismo está hablando. Pregunta el solo, sí. <ríe> Me imagino que se equivocaron. Ajá, eso es lo que estaba viendo. Yes, aquí tendría que ser en la segunda. Ah, era Bruno, era loco. Oh, Bruno, Bruno. Yeah. Bruno. Sí, porque... Ajá, sí, era ah, tendría que... Ah, Bruno. Juan Arellú Max dice, y, Max, y él está hablando. Ajá, si no, okay. si no se, se entiende tipo el Joker que él solito está hablando. <ríe> es peligroso. <ríe> Acabal, eso. <ríe> ok, there you go. So, yeah, acá es Bruno, all right? So just don't forget it. Nice. And also, eh, well, polis, eh, policies, a policy and policies, right? Policy and policies. And also there was this word superiors, superiors, right? Notify your superiors. There is something there. No, no, that's fine. So that's pretty much it. And the pronunciation of this one, drugs, right? Drugs. And nobody should do drugs. There you go. So let's see. So thank you guys. Next one. So I have Bruno, Carlos, and Max, Beatriz. Okay. Hi, Max. Look. Hi, hi Max. Look. I want to know when the police, policies. You what have policies? In, what policies? you have in your company. Mm -hmm. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear, wear a uniform always. Good. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this. Do this? If you do this. Do this? If you do it. Uh -huh. You receive a warning. And should you notify you notify your job? Notify. Notify. Uh -huh. notify and you. And should you notify your superiors? If superiors. You superiors. 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 Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. You notify your superior if you don't sometimes grab. If you do something wrong. Something rocks. Yes. rocks. All right. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work with the use of drones. Nobody uh, drought. Uh, nobody, nobody shall no drugs. Should do drugs. Should do drugs. Uh -huh. nice. Well, I also have the policies in my work. Too. That policy in my work. My policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. It is so too. I think so too. I think so too. There you go. Nice. All right. There you go. So e, there was another word here. Warning. Warning. Right. E, um, where is it? Here. You receive a warning. Remember the letter R or the sound of for the R is like if we are rolling our tongue. So, word, word, warning, 
right? Learning, war, power, right? We don't say power, warning, mm -mm. learning, power, er. Siempre ese sonido que bien diferente a la R en español. So it's er, right? Er. There you go. So let's see. Eh, Bruno, let me see. Um, Oscar and Max, let's see. Grisel. Okay. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Policies, policies. Police. Policies. Okay. There are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Good. Well, in my company, the children delay. Shouldn't. Children delay. If you do this, you receive a warning. 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 Excellent. And should you not, not, uh, what is the pronunciation? Notify. Notify, notify, okay. Uh -huh. And should you notify your superiors? Superiors. You, superiors. If you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see. Another police. Policy? Have policy. Uh -huh. I confusing with this pronunciation. Please. Yeah, <laughs> with police. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's okay. policy. I, I see another policy mm -hmm. we have at my work is that I use the roof. Nobody oh, should oh, draft. Nobody should draft. We also have that policy in my world too. You truly do it. I think so too. Very good. I think so too. Nice. So, also careful with the pronunciation of have, have, right? Not have, have. And um, here, the use of, the use of drugs, the use of drugs, right? But there you go. So, let's see. Bruno. Uh, Elizabeth and Max, uh, Maria Elena. Hey, Maria Elena. Look, I want to know the policies you have in your company. Policies. Policies. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, uh, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you should not be late. You shouldn't. You should. You shouldn't be late. If you if you do it, you receive a warning. 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 And should you notify your superiors? Superiors. You do superior. If you do something wrong. Yes, you should, you should. I see. Another policy we have at uh, my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Mm, we also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. Do it. I think do it. I think so too. There you go. All right. So based on this conversation that we have here, um, then we have some questions. If you notice, it says, what are some policies at Max's company? What do you think? What are some policies at Max's company? Maybe vigilant. Ah, no. What are, some, how, what are some what? La política. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> what are some policies at Max's company? 
based on the conversation. Where, what do you think? Uh -huh. Wear a uniform always. Wear a uniform always. There you go. That's one. So he says employees should wear a uniform always. Very good. What else? Also, mm, shouldn't do drunk. Ah, they shouldn't do drugs. No. Uh -huh. They shouldn't do drugs. Very good. Something else. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's those two. What about in, in number two? Uh huh. You you notify your superiors if you your superiors. Superiors. Ah. Mm, is that in Max's policies or in Bruno's? Max is asking, but it's asking Bruno. Right, so, uh, uh -huh. um, so it's the primera shouldn't be late. Oh, there you go. So let me see. If there are many policies. Shouldn't be late. Um, we where was it? Um, all right. No, maybe not. Ah, yeah, yeah. In my company, you shouldn't be late. Yeah, but that's in Bruno's, right? That's in Bruno's. Uh -huh. And this was Max's company. So we were uh, listing policies in Max's company. But yeah, those were Bruno's. But then we have, what should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? What should they do according to what they said? What should they do? What should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? According to the conversation. Anyone, volunteer. Receive a warning, teacher. Receive a warning? You yes, think sir. so? Mm. There is something else, something else there. What should a worker do if she or he makes a mistake? What do you think? It's over here. Max. Is a warning? No. <laughs> <laughs> what else? There is something. It doesn't say it exactly that way. No lo dice exactamente en esas palabras. It's about understanding the idea. What do you think? A mistake is something wrong. It's when you do something wrong. What happens when you do something wrong according to the conversation? Notify your superiors. Exactly. So you should notify your superiors. There you go. It says, and should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. So that's something wrong that we did here. That's the mistake, right? So it's a synonym. There you go. Okay. Now, before we proceed with the following thing I have for you, I'm going to take attendance for the second time because it's almost nine here. So let me see. Here we go again. So we have, um, here we go, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Y Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Let's see Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thanks a lot. So we have next Carlos Javier Crespin. Carlos Javier, not 
here, okay? So we continue with Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. Hey, Christian. Thank you very much. And then we have Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Grisel. We continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. Ember not here. I guess he's having problems with his connection. And next. Está en la cola de la dona todavía. <laughs> Sigue todavía en la cola. <laughs> nice. Next person, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Eli. And next person, Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Jose Eduardo, not here. So next person, Juan Carlos Rivas Joel. Present teacher. Thank you very much, JC. Y next, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Well, I guess she's in a funeral right now. So maybe she's not going to be able to connect. So we continue with Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present. Thank you very much, Luis. And then we continue with Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. I'm here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Maria Elena. And next person, Nelson Gavarrete Merino. I'm here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much. And Nelson, we continue with Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. All right. Thank you very much, Omar. Uh, next person, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you very much, Oscar. And last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Jenny or Suleima. <laughs> nice. Very good. So let's continue then with this uh, topic here. If you notice, there are some words in bold letter, what we call negrita, right? And these words are should and shouldn't. When do we use should and shouldn't? Any ideas? In what situations? When you... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When you... When you going to be a thing for obligation? Mm, when you are going to do things as an obligation? No tan fuerte. I don't know how do you say in Spanish. Uh -huh. In Spanish? <laughs> or Sorry, in English. In English. <laughs> okay. Sí, yo sé, cuando tú debes hacer algo. Pero ah, exactly. Uh -huh. no, it's suggestion. Suggestion, very good. Suggestion slash recommendation, right? Exactly. So if you remember, we were uh, talking a little bit about suggestions and recommendations when we talked about imperatives. When we talk about those imperatives, almost at the beginning of the module, we were saying like, open the, the box, right? The push the button, etc., etc. Turn on the machine. If those were imperatives, like in a way to give directions. And when we were talking about that, we mentioned something about recommendations. But should and shouldn't, they are, let's say, the best choice that you have whenever you want to a give a recommendation or a suggestion. So I have here a little video about the use of should and shouldn't. So let's see. All right, so let's pay attention to this, well, um, explanation slash sketch that we are going to see about the use of should, right? And how we use it for suggestions and recommendations. So here we go. 
So listen. Wait, can you hear? Can you listen to it? No, teacher. Not right. No. Wait, wait. Uh, let me see. I don't know what's going on. Wait. I'm going to try to open it in a new window. Let me see if that helps. Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. So here we go again. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. I guess now you can listen to it, right? Yeah? Hello. Yes. yes? Okay, perfect. So here we go. Listen. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's grammar game show. I'm your host, Will. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the grammar game show man. And of course, let's not forget Leslie, our all-knowing voice in the sky. Hello, everyone. Tonight, we're going to ask you three questions about... Should that handy modal so often used for advice. Okay, now let's meet our contestants. Hello, all. My name's Bill. And contestant number two. Hello, Will. And hello, everyone at home. It's so great to be here tonight. I'm your contestant, Sal, here for your viewing pleasure on the one, the only, the spectacular Grammar Game Show. Oh, goodness, Sal, that was quite an intro. Isn't he fantastic? Let's give him a hand. Thanks, Will. I well, know the game I... show myself for many years, and what great times they were. An old hand, eh? Great. OK, let's get going. And don't forget, you can play along at home, too. Like many modal verbs, should has a variety of meanings. Explain the use of should in these sentences. Should I get the cheap one or the expensive one? Well, that should to ask for advice or make a suggestion. Correct. She's out, but she shouldn't be much longer. Uh, that should for something probable or expected. Correct. Everyone should wear a seatbelt when driving. Uh, well, that sh should for advice again. Incorrect. Wow, you got that one spectacularly wrong. Really nose over toes there. Isn't he fantastic? But a good TV host should never tell a guest they've got something wrong without softening it first. Just like this. Bill, that was a fair guess, but you got it wrong. Bad luck. But here's a high five for trying. Boom! Yes, thank you, Sal. I'll uh, take that one under advisement. Leslie? Good job! Or maybe wrong. I forget now. Anyway, should is a modal verb, meaning it doesn't change for person or time and is always followed by a bare infinitive. It can be used to offer advice and make suggestions. Talk about probabilities based on what is expected or logical and refer to obligations, such as everyone should wear a seatbelt when driving, though it's not as strong as must. Well done, two points each. Now it's time Hold to... Hold up a sec. What a champion! What poise! What precision! But here's a quick note from someone who's walked the wharf before. Why not try it like this? Great play, everyone. Amazing performance. Two points each. Bah! OK, Sal. Nice idea. I'll bear that one in mind. Let's move on to round two. Should is a modal verb, and so has no past form. How, then, can we use should 
in the past. Don't we use should plus have a plus a past participle verb? Correct. Well done, Bill. And for a bonus point, what functional use does it have? It's used to talk about past actions that either were or weren't a good idea. Correct. He got the bonus point. Well done, Bill. You're a star. Hit it. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that. So, huh? out of respect for a peer, I am going to let that one slide. But that is your last warning. Leslie! Well done, Bill. We can combine should with have and a past participle to talk about actions that either weren't a good idea or would have been, but didn't happen. This is useful for criticizing someone. For example, you shouldn't have done that or for talking about regrets. For example, I should have listened to my mother more. Well done, Bill. You get the bonus point. Hit it! Oh, well, that one's ruined now. On to our last round. The verb phrase had better is similar to should, but there are some important differences. Look at these sentences and correct the ones which are wrong. Both are followed by a bare infinitive. Both can be used to give advice. Both are the same degree of intensity. Neither includes a sense of consequence. C is wrong. Have better is more immediate and urgent than should. Correct. I think D is also incorrect. It doesn't had better include a sense of worry or danger of negative consequence if the advice is not followed? Correct. Tell them, Leslie. Leslie, my best buddy and pal. My best buddy and pal. Wow, folks, what a guy. Should and had better have similar meanings. Both are followed by a bare infinitive and both can be used to give advice. However, had better is a little more immediate and intense. When we use had better, there is an often unspoken sense of negative consequence if the advice is not followed. This also makes had better useful when delivering threats. For example, Sal, you had better stop poking that bear with that stick. Isn't he great, folks? Let's hear it for your favorite voice in the sky. It's Leslie. All right, that's the conjunction that broke the syntax. Bill, you win. The prize is a, a boat or something. And Sal, maybe you should try having a catchphrase. Something like... <laughs> nope, that's a little too long-winded for me. Release the unsatisfied audience. And Leslie, do the uh, goodbye bit. So what do you care, Leslie? Yeah, see you next time. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Did you notice something particularly different with this pronunciation? Was it different from any other material? Or no. So they sounded kind of exaggerated the sounds that we were pronouncing, right? All those words in a different uh, bizarre pronunciation style. So that's British, right? And that's way whole different from American English. So speaking about shooting, coming back to shooting, shooting, eh, as you could see, we use it to what? What are some of the uses for shoot? according to the video. When is it that we use it according to this video?
Any idea? The, the structure. Uh, the use, not the structure, but the use. When do I use it? They mentioned a couple of scenarios. Yeah. I'll buy. I'm sorry. Probabilities. Sorry. Probabilities. Aha. Uh -huh. Probability or possibility. Mm -hmm. Obligation. Obligation. Obligations. Yes, obligations. Now, they mentioned that even though we can use it for obligations, it is not as strong as must, right? If you remember, we have some other uh, modal verbs for obligations, which is must, for example. You must uh, hand in your homework on time. But if you use must, it's really strong. Should is, can be used as an, I mean, to express obligation, but it's a little bit uh, not that strong as must, right? But it could be, like in the example that they provided, you should wear a seat belt when you're driving. Seat belt, cinturón de seguridad, right? You should wear a seat belt when you're driving. So there you go. What else? Something else besides that. Advice this t-shirt. Advice, very good. So we also use should to provide advice. This is the main use of this uh, of this modal verb to offer advice, right? So this is like the different uh, uses that we can give. Offer advice make suggestion, a suggestion and an advice, it's similar, but an, an advice is more like, a, it's because you care more about a person. A suggestion is not that, maybe not that important as the advice. Then we have probabilities, right? And obligations. So these are the different uses that we can give to should or shouldn't in its negative form. Now, there is another expression that we have. Let's see. Uh, no, this is maybe something that we are not. Microphone teacher, microphone. Sorry, sorry. I would say this rain is destroying my internet. So sorry, sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth, you're awake. Nice. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. No, 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 Dios. Ya nos pasó eso. What? Dos veces nos ha pasado sí. con el otro teacher. No. Nos la aplicaron. Nos toca responder. Muy, la doble la aplicaron. Así que por favor, trate de grabar. Así no. que por favor, no. tenga doble internet. En teoría. Que tenga un, una batería, por favor. De hecho, no, dual internet. Me volví a conectar con los datos. La primera vez que se cortó, sí se cortó la grabación pero está el video, o sea, sí queda la, quedó guardado. Entonces, ahí que se puede pegar con, con esta. Y ahorita no se cortó, en teoría. O sea, quedó ahí en el aire. So, y, Ojalá. No se yeah. cortó. Si no, ahí le tengo. Bueno, y no dos veces vamos teacher, a responder. Mire, se cortó, mire, teacher. Es la oh. última vez que se nos... Se nos que tuvimos que reponer esta otra vez, ya para terminar se le cortó. <risa> Bueno, <risa> ya el sí, colmo. Entonces tuvimos que sí, reponer las tocó. dos horas. No. Las dos Dios. horas tuvimos que reponer. ¿Y ahí qué hicieron? ¿Tuvieron la misma clase o...? Bueno, la repusimos. Sí, no, la no, misma no, clase. No, no te la bueno. otra clase. No. La misma clase, pero, pero fíjese entonces, que no habíamos aprendido mucho porque nos preguntaba y... <risa> 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 
<risa> ok, ok. Bueno, esperemos que no, que esté intacta esa grabación. O sea, fue excelente que la repitieran. <risa> o que por algo pasó. <risa> nice. Bueno, ojalá que no se nos corte. Está oh, mal. Well. Ok, bueno. So I was telling you. Y bueno, I guess I'm not sharing my screen here. So here we were. So, again. We also have this expression that is similar to should and shouldn't, and it's had better. We use had better in a similar way to should. Probably you might hear that, if, for example, I can say, you had better stop, if, um, let's say, uh, missing classes right you had better stop missing classes and we have you should stop missing classes so here we have two different expressions with something that is similar had better um, it's also used for advice or recommendation but with the only difference that it's a little bit negative. Esto es como cuando me regañaba mi mamá y me decía, te vas a caer. Y me caía, right? So, este had better, y tiene esa connotación negativa de que yo le digo, si no dejas de hacer eso, o si eh, seguís haciendo eso, algo malo va a pasar, right? You had better stop missing classes. De pronto suena como a una... Suena feo, pero es como una amenaza, ¿no? De decirle a alguien, y no hagas eso, right? You had better stop missing class. Mejor ya no faltes a class, right? So, la otra con should, it's not like that. The other one is just a very light suggestion, right? You should stop missing classes, right? So, it doesn't have any negative connotation. So, depending on what you need, you could use, well, either or right usually we don't need to threat a person or we don't need to use this one most commonly we use the option which should all right this was just something extra for you to know but most likely you are going to need only should there you go now there you have a little exercise about the use of should and shouldn't and that is Let's see, on page, 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 page 40, right? On page 40 in the book, there you have the structure. Let me share my screen so that we can see it. There you have like the structure, how to use should eh, or shouldn't, and you have a little exercise or a practice. It says, you should write sentences about the policies in your work, in your workplace, I'm sorry. Use the words in parentheses. And there you have my schedule, my dress code, attend trainings, sleeping work hours. What are you going to do? You're going to write or you're going to do something similar to the conversation that we had here. So, ellos estaban discutiendo algunas políticas de la empresa o de la compañía. Entonces, ellos preguntaban qué es lo que debería hacer o qué es lo que no se debería hacer en la empresa. You're going to do the same. Van a hacer lo mismo, lo van a discutir con un compañero y van a crear su propio, este, sus propias políticas de su empresa o basándose en su empresa con los temas que ya están acá, en paréntesis. My schedule, my dress code, eh, attend trainings, and sleeping work hours. Besides these four that you have there, you're going to add two more. I'm sorry. Be besides these four that you have here, you're going to add two more. All right? So, aparte de estos, van a agregar ustedes dos más. Right. Dos más de lo que alguna otra política que sea particular de su empresa o que ustedes crean conveniente agregar acá. 
si es posible que no se repita ya de las que están en la conversación o de las que ya se mencionaron en la página. Once you return here, y las van a escribir, y las pueden escribir en PowerPoint o las pueden hacer en Word, y, y nos van a compartir la pantalla para explicarnos un poquito de esas policies que ustedes eligieron. Ok, so you're going to work on this. Of course, you're going to use should and shouldn't, right? To write about these policies. So let me see. We are going to work in pairs for this one. So we have, um, ta -dum, ta -dum. Okay, so we have in group number one, I have Ana Beatriz and Nelson Gavarrete. Group number two, Christian and Juan Carlos. Group number three, Carlos Antonio and Grisel. Group number four, I have, let me see. Wait, wait, wait. There's a little thing here. And Okay, so I have group number four, Maria Elena and Jenny. And group number five, Elizabeth and Oscar. And group number six, Blanquita and Luis Alfonso. And this one is going to be a trio. So it's going to be Blanquita, Luis Alfonso and Omar, all right? so. That's how you're going to work. Okay, any questions before I send you? Clear? Nice. Okay, remember, acuérdense que la van a escribir en PowerPoint o en Word y la van a presentar. Van a compartir pantalla para que todos las podamos eh, leer. So, very good. I'm opening the small rooms now. I'm going to give you like 10 minutes for you to complete it. And then we come back to the main session, if, well, so that you can explain it. So you can start working now.
Okay, let's see. All right. So everybody's coming back. Let's just wait for the rest. Okay. <clears throat> wow, it's raining hard here. Diciendo que al final se nos va a borrar la, la grabación, igual que el otro. <laughs> no, mentira. Don't worry. Oh. Quizás lo, que... Ya lo puso preocupado. <risa> es que quizás él la guardaba en la Se nube. Pecho. No, don't worry, don't worry. Él creo que la guardaba en la nube y por eso quizás algo pasó y se perdió, ¿verdad? Pero yo la guardo en la compu. Es que hubo corte de energía. Y ese corte de ah, energía lo hizo perder todo. Híjole, pues sí. Ese no. fue un corte de energía. Este, bueno. Y ya esperemos. casi faltando que uno, así como ahorita. Uy, no, 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 no digamos eso. Ha pasado mejor. eso. No digamos eso, mejor. <risa> igual, tengo batería. No, pero bueno, igual. Primero yo que no. Yo veo, yo veo. <risa> no, no, no sé qué. Teacher, pero yo ese, teacher, pero yo recuerdo que nos había pasado otra vez, pero no sé si con él mismo o con otro profesor, con el del primer nivel, quizás. Wow. No, con la maestra. No, ah, no me acuerdo, no, pero sí hubo otra vez que nos pasó. Sí, con la teacher. Porque nosotros wow. nunca le había pasado eso. Ajá. Con la teacher no tuvo in, pero se, no sé lo que le pasó, pero no recibimos, ah. no, no recibimos clases ese día. Pasamos media hora ahí platicando. Y después no, después Al no estilo de, de Will Salgado. Sí, nos sacaron, ¿verdad? Nos sacaron sí. de la casa. De choto. Uy, de choto, cabal. Y tuvimos que hacer otro día. Pero el del ticho fue peor, porque sí, se porque... nos tocó el último día. No, ya nadie no quería que... estar en la clase. Ya me imagino, y repetir otro, no. Sí, no, y no, no, para no, que pudiéramos nos quedarlo, lo que, lo que hizo fue que ese mismo día dejó para que llenáramos. <risa> encuesta para que, <risa> pues, pues, si acaso, <risa> para que no perdiéramos <risa> bueno sí. bueno ok then let's see así quickly let's see vámonos en orden so group number one Ana Beatriz and Nelson let's see oh. your policies ok All right, okay ahorita see. comparto ok Uh, yes. Yeah, we can see. Okay. Okay. I should respect my schedule in my work. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Yes, it's important okay. to complete with con study establish the in the company. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Next Nelson. Very Two. good. Nelson. Okay. We, okay, we should my dress code every day in the world mm -hmm. we should yeah, we should here we're missing something i know falta un verbo we should uh, uh, don't you be sure uh -huh. ahí, justo ahí. we should i have sure a respect maybe or we should a attach to my dress code every day at in work or at work. Sería respect. Puede ser respect, puede ser stick to or attach, que es como apegarse al dress code, uh, podría ser también. But that's okay. fine. Mm -hmm. uh, respect. Number three. Next, next, yeah, okay. In my, con, in, my, in my company, it should obligation attend you the training. It is important to have the training to understand the new position. Very good. Now here, in my company, we should attend trainings. We should attend trainings because it's an obligation, right? So we should yes. attend training. In my company, we should, and based on it, we, we should. Aquí, teacher. Ajá. Mm, Ahí le quitamos should. el is y le ponemos we. We should, ajá, attend trainings. Yes. Uh, 
podemos borrar obligation. Ya en la explicación oh, que usted da, ahí sí lo, lo puede integrar. ¿verdad? It's an obligation por este, por este. So nice. Company. Company. Nice. Okay, we. Number four. Okay, eh, number four. Number four. You should, you should learn sleep in work hours. In work hours. Very good. Okay. Work hours. Okay. In five is in my company, you should, you should use you the should. lotion. Uh -huh. You should. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. All right. Uh -huh. In my company, is you shouldn't use the lotion, makeup, jewelry, etc. Jewels, etc. Uh -huh. All right. In my company, is the for in the for being the use of the lotion is the mm -hmm. the. Put the company in the, uh -huh. is the training. Is the my emphasis? Make no, emphasis. Uh -huh. emphasis. Make, make emphasis. Make emphasis of uh -huh. the prohibition. In this prohibition. All right. Yes. So here, lo mismo acá. Eh, okay. En las dos últimas, we shouldn't or you shouldn't. Cualquiera de las dos. En vez del is. All right. Uh -huh. And then, shouldn't ah, use we. lotion. In, ahí lo borramos también. Ese in que tenemos antes de lotion, lo borramos. No, oh. antes de lotion. Ajá. There you go. Ahí está. Nice. And the last one. Next, next. Okay. In my company. Same. We should. We should. We should. We shouldn't to the drink liquor smoking smoke bro liquor smoke uh, or do drugs or drugs. do drugs uh -huh. do drugs okay yes. and okay there you go uh -huh. hey hey que aburrido son ahí we to say tipo <laughs> <laughs> no, cuál ya no yo i am do uh -huh. No, it is not. You know, to the, you say a chip was alcoholic in drugs and chip was drugs during the working hours. During working hours. Permitido usar drugs and chip. Exactly. Yes. All right. Acá, the, right. hay que quitarle ese two. Shouldn't to drink? No. Solo shouldn't drink. Y le quitamos el is. Ah. Así, el anterior y le ponemos ah, we two. or you. Right. Ajá. And that's it. All right. So very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Good. All right. Nice. Thank you very Thank you. much, Beatriz and Nelson. Good. Let's see. Oops. All right. Pretty quick. Christian and Juan Carlos. Okay. No, ya no se ve mi pantalla, ¿verdad, teacher? No, no. ya no. No. Right. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Christian and Juan Carlos. All right. Hey, teacher. Yes. Only uh, five sentences. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, the first, uh, you should comply with my new schedule for the library of weekly report. For the delivery of weekly reports. Delivery of uh, weekly you reports. With the new, with the new schedule uh, for the delivery of weekly reports. That, uh -huh. there that you go. go, nice. Okay, you should comply with the new schedule for delivery of weekly report. Delivery of weekly reports, good. Okay, and second, uh, you should wear the uniform correctly. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, and um, next, um, you should attend in training and seminar uh -huh. to better address the needs of the old partner and client. Very good, that one. Solo le quitamos ese da antes de hour y estamos bien. Nice. Uh, where, uh, teacher? Da, antes de our partners, eh, la T-H-E, da, okay. esa es la borra. There you go. Like this? Yes. Okay. Or uh, 
You shouldn't sleep in work hours. Very good. And finally, uh, we should have compensation and benefits. Uh -huh. Compensation and benefit policy. Oh, very good. Nice. That was a good one. Excellent. All right, so thank you very much, Christian and Juan Carlos. Okay. Okay, guys, I don't think we're going to be able to finish. Lo demás, me mandan una foto. Toman una foto hacia la pantalla o un screenshot y pónganlo en el grupo, all right? Y ahí le voy a dar su feedback a cada grupo con respecto a las, a las policies que hicieron. Solo no olviden mandarlas. Y me ponen quiénes trabajaron, bueno, quiénes, sí, quiénes trabajaron en, en cada screenshot. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. El siguiente equipo. Acá estamos todavía. All right, let's see. Ok, Carlos. Así no hace las correcciones. <laughs> nice, Carlos en Grisel. Ok. Nice. Okay. ¿Qué le pasó, Anzure? ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Qué le pasó, Nelson? Ok. You <laughs> should respect the schedule. Perdón, perdón, perdón. No, estamos por los afligidos. ¿Por qué lo que yeah. le pasó? <laughs> you should respect the schedule. Yes, very good. We should wear a discount all time. Uh, we should wear... Um, here, we should stick. Maybe, para variar un poquito, we should stick to the dress code all the time. Debemos apegarnos, right? We should stick, como speed stick, we should stick to okay. the dress code. Okay. They should attend training for a week. For one week, very good. For one week. Employees shouldn't sleep in the work hours. Very good. Employees should wear a helmet all the time. Nice. Employees shouldn't touch any machine. Mm -hmm. Employees should use the security equipment. All right, very good. There you go. So that was good. So thank okay. you very much for that one. Those were really nice ones. Excellent. Okay, oh, thank you. Excellent. So I guess... That's it, right? I see. Estamos a punto de terminar. So I'm going to take the attendance really quick. So. Hey, no, el otro group. Ah, no, lo van a mandar ahí. Yeah, yeah they're going to send it. They're going to send it. Yeah. Teacher, don't worry, don't teacher, worry. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Teacher, I'm sorry. Tell me, Luis. In the, in the case, uh, my team, uh, I. To make a conversation. A conversation? Yes, sir. I oh just see my. I just see in the, in yeah, the, in the that's fine in the screenshot, okay? Yeah, send what you have, okay. no worries. Okay, just okay. send the work that you did. That's okay. Okay, then. So here we go. The last one is Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Thank you very much. E Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Y Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Y Carlos Javier Crespin. Didn't connect today. Christian Ernesto Lazo. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Y Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Y Amber Giovanni Polio. Didn't connect today. Y Francisca eh, sigue Elizabeth, la cola, sigue la cola. Sigue la cola del mister. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez. <ríe> All right, thank you. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Didn't connect today. Juan Carlos Rivas Joel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much, JC. Y Karen Vanessa Morataya. Couldn't connect today. Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present. Thank you very much. Y Nelson Gabarrete Merino. I'm here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much. 
Eh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Yes, sir, teacher. Thanks a lot, Omar. Eh, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you, Oscar. And Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Thank you very much, Jenny. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your time. It, as always, a pleasure for me to be here with you. Take good care of yourselves. See you tomorrow and have a good night. Sweet dreams, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Salud, Luis. Good night. Good night. Okay. All right. So let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Ahí estamos, Luis. Okay. Vaya, Luis. Estos, bueno, nueve minutitos que nos quedan y prácticamente son para eh, despejar cualquier duda que usted tenga o algún tip que usted necesite. Igual por ahí le voy a dar feedback de cómo lo he visto eh, en esta semana que hemos estado en las clases. Eh, quizá antes de, de darle su feedback, eh, no sé si tendrá alguna duda, tal vez no con respecto a los temas que hemos visto, pueden ser de temas eh, de niveles anteriores o preguntas que usted tenga ahí con respecto al idioma. Hoy es cuando lo es. Está, está en mute. <laughs> Sorry, <Ahí está>. <laughs> eh, okay. eh, tengo problemas en, en cuanto a, la, a los tiempos de los verbos Ajá. que mencionamos. Ok, mencionamos el presente, presente Ajá. simple. ¿sí? Ajá. Ajá. Menciona el presente simple uh -huh. y de ahí menciona el perfecto. El simple, el perfecto, simple, ¿cómo es? Simple. <risa> el presente perfecto. Eh, ah, el presente perfecto. Ajá, ajá. ¿Cuál es la diferencia ajá. En, esa, en esas dos conjugaciones? Por lo menos yo quiero conjugar el verbo have, por decir have. He, ajá. have ¿Sí? Ajá. Va. Esto, va, estos dos tiempos son, digamos, así, son bastante diferentes. ¿verdad? Tengo, por ejemplo, el simple present y el present perfect. Ok. El simple present es como el que vimos, bueno, el que se ve desde el inicio. El simple present, por ejemplo, me sirve a mí para hablar de rutinas, de cosas que yo hago a diario o eh, on a regular basis. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I always wake up at 6 a.m. I always wake up at 6 a.m. Con okay. el simple present, yo lo único que, que me tengo que, que digamos, y aprender son las reglas a la hora de ocupar la tercera persona del singular, por ejemplo. Que si yo... ah, eso, era, eso era otra cosa que le iba a preguntar Ajá. también. <risa> Estas cositas, es, este, la gente dice, ah, el presente es simple, <risa> ah, es, es simple, pero uh -huh. realmente tiene un montón de reglas que se nos van a la hora de estar Correcto. hablando o escribiendo, se nos va, se nos va uh -huh. la onda. So, Correcto, porque, porque ahí cambiamos, eh, le, le aumentamos la S al, al ah, verbo. Correcto. Cuando exacto. es. Uh -huh. okay. Ajá. Eso es lo que hacemos nosotros con el presente simple. Vamos cambiando el verbo. No cambia tanto, ¿verdad? no lo modificamos prácticamente. No nos tenemos que aprender una forma del verbo diferente. ¿verdad? Solo le agregamos claro. la S la, o S. la S. Ajá. Claro. Dependiendo con qué letra termina también. Ajá, sí. Dependiendo, ajá, dependiendo con la, la terminación del verbo. Así podemos agregar o una S o una ES. ¿verdad? Exacto. Vaya, eso es una. Con el present perfect, ahí sí cambia un poquito la cosa. El present perfect no lo ocupo para hablar de, eh, digamos, cosas que yo hago todos los días, eh, ni cosas parecidas, sino que lo ocupo para hablar de experiencias, de experiencias que yo he tenido. Como, I have been eh, in France 
twice. I have been in France twice. Yo he estado en Francia dos veces. Entonces, esta es una experiencia, ¿verdad? Es sí. algo que hice en el pasado, pero no estoy usando el pasado simple, porque el pasado simple a mí me sirve para hablar de una acción terminada. Pero en este caso, puede que vaya otra vez. La posibilidad está, ¿no? Entonces, okay, ajá, okay, ajá. Okay. Me, me confundo ahí cuando estamos hablando del presente perfecto. Ajá. ¿sí? Pero ajá. esa es una oración en pasado. En y teoría. Es, ajá. Estuve, estuve dos veces. No, he, he estado dos veces. Ah, Ajá. Acá estado. nosotros tomamos. Ah, este... igual. Ajá. Ah, perdón. Perdón. Eh. Y... Ajá. Ajá. Y he estado, dice ahí, dos veces en Francia. Exacto. Y si yo, ok, y si yo dije estuve, ocupo el was. No, ocupo el. Y, ¿Cómo se llama? Bueno, ¿cómo no? I'm sorry, perdón. Sí, I was in France twice. Ahí sería el simple past. Porque tal vez lo que yo quiero decir es que ya no voy a repetir el viaje o ya no, por alguna razón ya no puedo viajar. Ahí ocuparía el pasado simple. Y diría, I was in France twice. Yo estuve, como estábamos diciendo, yo estuve en Francia Dos veces, right? Acá sí. Entonces acá la posibilidad queda cerrada a que se repita el evento, pero acá la posibilidad queda abierta a que vuelva a suceder. Por eso dice que el presente perfecto es una acción que comenzó en el pasado, pero que todavía puede influir en el presente o incluso en el futuro de la, de la acción, ¿no? Porque puede volver a pasar. Ajá. ¿Qué es lo que tengo que poner, digamos, atención en este tiempo? Que dependiendo de otra vez, ¿verdad? del sujeto, que eh, voy sujeto. a ocupar have o has. Y si yo tengo he, she, it, le voy a agregar has. Si tengo cualquier otro sujeto, entonces yo le agrego have. Y aquí sí, y se nos hace un poco, digámoslo así, más complicado, porque los verbos aquí sí nos los tenemos que aprender. No es solo de agregarle el ed o solo de agregarle la s, eh, sino que los verbos irregulares cambian. Entonces, por el hecho de que no respetan o no siguen un patrón, y eh, ahí es donde... Mmm, nos pone en aprieto, ¿verdad? porque si no sabemos la forma exacta de ese verbo, no lo podemos ocupar. Entonces, tengo que aprenderme los past participles o los pasados participios de esos verbos para yo poder ocupar el tiempo en sí, ¿verdad? Esa es la, la cuestión con este present perfect. Estamos abarcando un montón de puntos que es interesante. Sí, exacto. Vale, porque, porque ahí estamos pasando, ahí, ahí estamos ocupando, y es que yo tengo, le voy a mostrar, yo tengo ah, mi, mi, ah, mi, mi, yo ajá, tengo la lista. Mi, 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 mi lista de híjole, aquí tengo un montón de, un montón <risa> de verbos. Ajá. Ajá. Ay, ajá. Lo único que yo los tengo aquí es infinitivo ajá. y ese pasado y participio. Ajá, correcto. Así es como deberíamos, digamos, de, de aprenderlo, ¿no? Los tres de una sola vez, el infinitivo, que es la forma del presente. Y, ah, correcto. Ajá. El pasado. El pasado y el pasado participio. Ok, okay. Pero, y el, pero cuando decimos ahí, entonces una otra pregunta, el pasado participio. Uh -huh. ¿A qué se refiere? O sea, el pasado, pasado, par, pasado participio. No Ajá. logro entender ese, 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 ese concepto. El pasado participio es como cuando en español yo digo, eh, son los, los verbos, va, digamos yo tengo el verbo tomar, es el infinitivo, tomar. 
El sí. pasado sería tomé y el pasado participio es tomado. Entonces, esos participios pasados son los verbos que terminan en ado, ido, right? Comido, tomado, saltado, eh, leído. Son todos esos verbos. Así es como interpretaríamos nosotros esa forma del verbo. He comido. Ajá. He jugado. Ajá. I He have dormido. eaten. I have slept. Ajá. Correcto. Eso es lo que yo hago, que es como la, el complemento del, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Del auxiliar que tengo ahí, del have o el has. Por eso es, el have y el has acá no se traducen como tengo o tener, sino como he. Yo he comido. Ella ha viajado. Así es la cuestión. Eso me significa que el participio es súper diferente al, al, a la terminación ING. Sí, a definitivamente. Él. Ajá, correcto. Son cosas diferentes en ese caso. Está, está jodido. Eh. <risa> <risa> Pero vamos a aprender. Sí, hombre. Pero vamos a aprender. Puede, vamos a aprender. Vamos a aprender. Puede, la ah, mire, otra, otra, sí. ajá, otra ajá. cosa. Sí. Eh, Sí. Eh, no me queda bien claro también en, en, las, en cuanto a las personas. Tengo problemas Ajá. yo en, en, eh, en clasificar eso, las personas, Ajá. cuando es pr primera, segunda y tercera persona. Ajá. Prácticamente, no claro. Prácticamente, Luis, lo único que se tiene que acordar es que he, she y el último it. Esta es, la ter Uy, esta es la tercera, la famosa tercera persona. Cualquiera de esos tres son la tercera persona. De ahí los demás. Y las reglas aplican igual en I, en you, en we, en they. Y por ejemplo, en el presente simple, con I, we, you, they, no modifico el verbo. Pero con esta tercera persona, sí. Con el present perfect. Pasa algo parecido, pero es con el auxiliar. Con esta tercera persona, yo ocupo has. Y con los Correcto. demás, ocupo have. El, Entonces, verbo sin, el verbo sin modificarlo. How you, we, they. Ah, ok. Ajá, correcto. Y, esa, y esas son las primeras personas. Primera Digamos y segunda que, persona. Ajá, tienen como un orden, vea. Pero al final, el ajá. orden no importa porque lo que si sí es importante reconocer la tercera persona, que son estos tres. Pueden ser sí, cualquiera de estos sí, tres. Sí, es que ahí tengo cierta, cierta confusión, pero ya, mm -hmm. me, ya me lo voy a aprender. Okay. Ya, vamos, ya vamos saliendo, nice. Sí, Excelente. Okay. Chivísimo. No, la verdad que, 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 que sí era bien importante porque tenía esa, esa duda en cuanto a lo del presente, presente simple y el perfecto. El perfecto. Ajá. Con, esto, con esto que me da aquí, pues ya. Ya queda un poco más. Ya más queda claro. un, poco más, un poco más claro. Excelente. Ya queda un poco más claro. Sí, y la verdad, teacher, le digo que sí, pues he aprendido bastante, me ha costado, pero uh -huh. ahí voy. Qué bueno, ¿no? Es, eso es lo importante. Yo veo que, que usted tiene buena actitud, eh, que de hecho, bueno, es de las personas que preguntan, participa, y eso es importante, ¿no? Es, es de aprovechar la la oportunidad que tenemos acá de, de, de eso, ¿no? de sacarlo de por eso, dudas y todo por eso, sí, correcto, por eso a mí me gusta escribir y me gusta que me corrija, por eso sí, me gusta proyectarla sí, ahí, sí, así me he fijado no, y está bueno, está bueno o sea, no, así es mejor porque es. le comento que con la lectura yo, yo, en mi compañía yo trabajo con gente y compañías de Estados Unidos mm. y para, le, para lectura yo tengo bien poco problema Ajá, ajá. Para, la, para la comprensión uh -huh. pero tengo problemas con mi oído ¿sí? ah, todavía ya. Me, me cuesta yo le soy sincero, ajá. bien poco le entiendo lo que, usted, lo que usted dice, yo voy asociando uh -huh. voy asociando, ajá. pero sí tengo, tengo que adaptar mi oído sí, poco a poco poco a poco uno va, va educando el oído a, 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 Correcto. a, 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 re, a ser más receptivo de, de, de las pronunciaciones de, de, del idioma prácticamente que es, es totalmente diferente al nuestro sí teacher ok de Ajá. todas maneras 
se le agradece mucho su tiempo también, ¿verdad? Y, a la orden, y ahí estamos. Cualquier cosa igual. <risa> ¿verdad? Chivísimo, chivísimo. Ok, teacher, le agradezco. Bueno, Luis, tiempo, gracias a usted por su tiempo. Feliz, feliz noche, cuídese. Gracias, igual, feliz noche. Bye, bye. Ok, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. bye.